Um, for those of you, this is Mari Yamaguchi, and perhaps some of you remember going to her studio years ago, which is still etched in my mind. Yeah. <laughs> um, she's going to give a presentation today and then a class afterwards. Um, for those of you who haven't, make sure you take one, pass them around. We have the new gorgeous folders about our upcoming projects and all. Please make sure that any and all hear about this. And so we're going to get a quick start on this so that there's time for the class later. And yeah, this is mine. <laughs> okay. Thank you for coming to today. And thank you very much for giving me the opportunity for PTA. And um, so we have only one hour and I have too many pictures <laughs> and um, and I have six different fibers on the list, means 10 minutes for each one. <laughs> so I sometimes I just run and then uh, keep you, please uh, ask me when, you know, you have questions and then just, you know, we, we will see how it goes, okay? So um, just briefly, I, I moved from Japan to late 2007 with a family. And I didn't know anything about fiber arts, nothing, <laughs> zero. I wore kimono maybe a couple, you know, maybe five times in my life, that's it. And uh, my grandmother always uh, wear kimono. So I, I, I was familiar some, somewhat, but other than that, you know, we could, Weaving, dyeing, double ika, kumihimo, nothing. And af just after um, I mo we moved here, my neighbor was fiber art, and then uh, you know my good friends are all fiber artists. And asking me, so Mari, you you came from Japan, you must know such such artists in Japan. <laughs> you know what? How you make double ika? This you know this kind of combination. And do you know this kumihimo? And said, wow, I felt so shameful. <laughs> but because everybody knows, and I don't know anything. And then I said wait a minute, maybe I should uh, start, you know, learning some of the stuff. Then that is the uh, <laughs> starting point late 2008, like everything comes as gift. You know, I didn't really search, you know, I didn't, um, you know, I just, uh, uh, I just, you know, working, you know, making candies and stuff like that in this town. And then, uh, hey, Mari, there's a, um, a weaving class at the college. Do you want to go? He said, of course, but I don't have a car. And then uh, my neighbor actually uh, signed up two of Janice's class at the college and said, gave me every day, every, you know, every time couple. So I don't need to take a bus on anything. So everything happens like unexpected gift. Then that continued for 10 years and then all, all of a sudden the life changes. And then I, okay, maybe this is the end. I gave up. Okay, that's why. Here is the list, eight, <laughs> this, is, this is the list of what we consider natural textile, which is, you know, vast fiber, which is not the cot cotton is not included. Cotton is seed, bar seed part. Yeah. So it's not the structure of tree trunk. The vast fiber is always like from stalk structure. And then, and there is a group, I got to know the leader of this group, but it's not artist. That's a different concept between US and Japan. Whole Japan is almost the same surface like California and has um, a vast fiber, you know, has been using a vast fiber from, you know, more than 10,000 years. Okay, so um, each region has producing, you know, 
recognized producing institution as it's actually industry and uh, all through the history. So these are still like weaving in Japan, eight different material and, and I actually participated, touched and wor worked with the people first six, six different from here to from here worked. But uh, I missed Elm Tree uh, tour workshop and paper mulberry processing. I don't know, you know, I just saw video. I cannot, I'm, I have difficulty to learn from books. So I want to jump on the labor, you know, and then I work because I grew up in countryside and all these things always around me. So I'm quite familiar to those, you know, the plants, I love plants. So, uh, and then today, um, Bob brought uh, some of the uh, raw material to here because I, I cannot provide those. And those are the list. This is uh, published uh, late 1800, you know, in, in Japan. So obviously people are already making those uh, fiber, fiber, you know, uh, have to say we can process their, its fibers to make cloth. This is the document. And this, can you see? This is from Edo period, from um, 1500 about, you know, and the catalog of textile merchant to show, to sell um, rich samurai family or rich merchant family. And it's all not dyed, some structured weave, but not dyed. That's the key, that quality is how fine, what, uh, uh, you know, what is the quality of thread, how thin, how, you know, what is the flexibility. So people already, you know, um, have these eyes or feelings to the fabric. This is the pattern uh, page. He, this is, I just allow, you know, asked the authority, can I take pictures? <laughs> <laughs> he has all, all different kinds, but I couldn't take uh, pictures of other things. Okay, so this, and then after that, I move on chronologically, my development. Um, okay, Kuzu is invasive. You, you know from, you have this region, you know, East Coast, uh, you know those, it came from Japan. I'm really sorry. <laughs> <laughs> but in, in Japan, I think America used, um, uh, it started importing to um, fortify the river bank. This is what mm -hmm. I, I heard. In Japan, we have really cold winter, so everything die out. But some region here in the States, it's still warm winter. You know, continuously grow, 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 grow. And, and then also we know how to use it. Um, you know, kuzumochi, you yes. know, nobody? Okay, that's a food. And uh, lots of um, processing involved, but you can make je jelly, jelly kind of mochi, you know, mm -hmm. gooey dessert mm -hmm. or soup using the root, root, some, some of the root I heard formed a ball big like this, mm -hmm. and then transfer with a small size truck and then <laughs> maybe uh, make a small piece and grind and uh, process with lots of water and make powder. Mm -hmm. So kuzu is a food, mm -hmm. tea, uh, domestic, uh, feed and uh, 
how to say fabric. So everything, serves everything. The fiber comes from the stems? Yes. So I I pass a whole this bag. It's a little bit dark. Um, this is the core. And this is actually the fiber, the fluffy part. And some of the woven samples. And I took five day uh, workshop, whole day by the company who used to make this wallpaper. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. wow. And many, many ex exported to US. Yes, very it was yeah. very popular. Oh, good, good, that you know. Yes. And these are the old fabrics that in made with uh, kuzu things, or maybe I pass from- Maybe uh, Eleanor and Christina will start. Oh, okay. okay. <laughs> One thing at a time out okay. there. Okay, so, okay. So, maybe you can okay. see, uh, only remain shoes uh, fabric making remaining in the middle of uh, Japan, about this area, warm, um, always warm. You know, it's like a really nice, uh, in Shizuoka prefecture, famous for tea flat, warm, and not, you know, gentle climate. So the vine spread out flat ri river bank all the way like this, really flat area. And so this is from the workshop. He's the leader and some of the students, art school student, like, you know, middle-aged ladies mostly, <laughs> <laughs> and we we had those um, collect these vines, um, like you know, you, the length that you can you spread whole arm. It's easy to treat it until the end. All the leaves are uh, throw away. Only only vines collected make coil. And like this, and then always keep moist. So in the, keeping in a bucket until water ready, boiling water is ready. We immediately after the hunting and you know, collecting, we cook just boiling water, you know, plunge boiling water for one hour, about one hour and check the, you know, um, it's a really fuzzy stem. Do you, maybe some of them, you know, the vine itself? No, so hair, lots of hair outside. So you can take the hair, remove the hair, then ready to take out from boiling water. So this is now about ready. So lifting up lifting and then after that is we move to retting process i mean fermenting what we call yeah you have you can't put it back in cold water you just let it sit until it's warm i think it it's actually work better with bacteria so keep it a certain, you know, warm temperature and and never splash cold water and anything and move on pampas grass bed. You know, the grass in uh, underneath and you place the coil, warm coil and cover by the uh, pampas grass. In in Japan, it's always humid, you know, except maybe Shizuoka area, um, low humidity in winter. Um, it's very difficult to imagine here, but the <laughs> bacteria everywhere. You know, I, the first thing I was uh, surprised, the food never go bad here. The, Definitely my miso soup I cannot eat today. And I smelled nothing. 
<laughs> you know, in Japan, you forget half a day, you know, bad, you know, rainy season. So it me means like a bacteria everywhere. So we, we really need those bacteria to rep, to ferment these things and always do summertime. And that was late July we did and placed the bed cover with the pampas grass and then cover with the plastic. See, this is the process covered by the pampas grass and then uh, plastic cover and then and then this is after maybe one and a half day or two days. Everybody said, oh, depending on the weather, you know, <laughs> it's always depending on the weather. So um, I can I probably cannot, uh, okay, I can maybe see, you can, can you see the white stuff? Mm -hmm. That's the bacteria growing. Oh, yeah, so it smells and yes, slimy. Yeah, <laughs> always. Yeah. I am sad to not to be able to bring the smell. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I, imagine. Yeah, so and by the smell, you know, you can see this is ready or not ready sometimes, you know, you are, if you are expert. So, I brought a couple of. Prozo branches that I have been yes, fermenting, yes, yes. Mm -hmm. but I left them outside because <laughs> I can smell it. If you want to reproduce the smell, I think I can come close. <laughs> yeah, it's like a cheese, you know, some yeah. cheese. Okay, so this time we needed to transfer the um, with fungus kind of, you know, coil to the river. And that, you know, you need lots of lots of fresh clean water, and that is the key of making beautiful fiber. So this this is what I did, you know, solo workshop. I don't have river, be, you know, been, uh, close to my house, so that's an uh, outside uh, uh, city water, but it cleans. I cleans like this after removing all this. This is after um, separating from core. You have the hard one, uh, Jackie has. Th that's the core of the vine and very easy. It's like uh, you hold one end of the core and moving your hand and the whole fiber is take, you know, uh, how to say, leaving from the the core, and then you throw away and wash the wash the uh, fiber with slimy stuff with current river current. Yeah, back to Mari. Why are these different colors? Uh, one dye with maybe maybe tea with iron or something like that. So it's naturally going to be yeah. this color. Quite white, shiny, and yeah, this type of river. And then we yeah. walk. Do you do you see? This is the fiber. Uh, you know, we we put the string and then hook hook the fiber, mm -hmm. and then the water always moving in one direction, automatically clean. Yeah. And then we some bleach, try to some bleach yeah. uh, on the grass. I don't know if it worked, but uh, <laughs> it was a, a learning concept. And then that workshop, we weave uh, what uh, we made the uh, thread. The people who take this uh, afternoon's class, we will make the thread. We uh, make kudzu knots and then make thread and make bobbin. We cannot weave, but 
try to make a uh, bobbin until that uh, this is the aim for this, today's class. I think this is the end. Yeah. So you have, that's the boat shuttle. Yes. Put the bobbin in and place the bamboo, uh, what is the bamboo stick? Yes. Yeah. And then spray and weave. Spray. Right. Yeah, the bus. When you deal with bus fiber, mm -hmm. uh, most keep it, down. Keep it. Yeah, damp is too wet. Maybe slightly moist. Mm -hmm. Keep it stronger and uh, stretches a little bit. You know, so when it's dry, shrinks a little bit. Mm -hmm. Okay, so this is kudzu. Okay, and, and then I met, okay, then I, so I learned, I learned weaving, and I have one friend from college, we both studied sports education, but she became professional kimono weaver. <laughs> she studied in in um, under very famous teacher in Ishigaki Island in Okinawa. So she said, "Mari, come over to Okinawa. I'm there, and then we go around the islands." So she took me different islands. This is a different island, but um, just happened this uh, how to say festival it's mm -hmm. like a harvesting festival, very special thing to that island. And everybody is, this is blur, but I'm sorry, wearing basho. This, those are cotton, but the brown ones are ba banana fiber kimono, basho. And then, you know, dance, sing, those are the one with the spirit. And the, this is the landscape. Oh, this is, this is main island. Main island, I was introduced to this lady who used to work for co uh, ba banana fiber textile making co-op. So if you belong to a co-op, you don't have freedom. You have to weave what is given. But my, my teacher quit it because she wanted to make her own design. She didn't agree the quality of the thread. So, you know, some independent people leave the structure. That's the good side, the bad side in small islands. You know, mm -hmm. you have steady life or you, cha you have more challenge to survive kind of. And so I met her and then she was really good teacher. She said, banana textile making will die anyway. So I can teach anybody. If you are interested, come, come here. So I said, okay, I come. <laughs> <laughs> so she, she, that is her uh, house. And this is the <laughs> banana tree. So many banana trees. In, in, on this earth now, but this is um, no fruit, fruit, this is the flower. The fruit yeah. is this big, not for eating. Um, this is fiber banana tree, we call it. See, this is the uh, flower part. And the green part is the banana, mm -hmm. but just really tiny, tiny. This is, and then cut down. I remember you have to wait a couple years until the stalk get matured, you know. And so this this is the tree we cut down, and this is the size that we mm. treated this, but whole, whole stalk we can't use. We maybe use 40% of the each stock outside to 
to a uh, course inside to uh, fragile. So, you know, just uh, in the middle. Just, yeah. And those are the small class with other uh, wisteria class uh, mates cutting, taking off uh, dark, dark uh, layers and select. Okay. Okay. Now it's cooking. Okay. This mm -hmm. is peeling. So mm -hmm. the each stalk forms like celery, whole celery plant, mm -hmm. and you take, and each one has those, uh, you know, half moon, you know, new moon kind of uh, shape. Yeah. Where is fiber? Yeah. Too busy. Too busy talking. <laughs> okay. So this is each each stock layer you split still in vertically. Mm -hmm. And <laughs> you will see this cutting to separate one right. one layer from inside outside. And this is inside, no fiber. Maybe some people use for uh, paper, not paper making. I don't know what they use, but um, is that is that the size of one of the celery? Yeah, ripped? yeah, yeah. How old is this plant? Um, two, three, or four, you know, up to not too old, but oh. you have to wait a couple of years to get mature. You know, it's like this tall. And leaf starts here, so not too tall and good size to treat. You know, one one person. So this is inside. Okay, hand that to Eleanor. Yeah. Eleanor. Right, and I, I believe that is the, the fiber that's used to make avocado. At least it's relative. It's not oh, the better yeah. one. Because I've gotten Philippine apica that looks just like this that you have that to be you cooked use for paper. Yeah, cooked and beaten, and it's a very good staple fiber for. Yeah. So this okay. So this is the other side. We could, we should, you know, we will cook later on. You see, this is not cooked. Yeah. But the fiber, you. Oh wait, wait, wait. no, this is not cooked. Fiber side. Um, bundled uh, again and then cooked in the lye water about uh, pH 13, 14. No, 14 is too strong, you know, to 12 to 13 and uh, one hour, less than one hour. And always teacher take, you know, a uh, test. Well, not to, not that. 12. 11 to 12, I would say, pH. Always wood, you know, wood ash uh, treated water. She, uh, that she keeps, my teacher keeps and uh, cook it. And after that, every, you know, single step to make more coil so that we can make thread here each one and then connect to it not we we call we were not mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. here is the thread and then spin yeah give spin after all uh, connected then you give spin in different uh, spin for work weft. It's a, it's an artist decision, but um, if you make obi, you need more spin. And if you have fabric, then you want fluffy, so it's more gentle. So it I can't say which which one, but it, it it's like they count like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, you know, and then wind. One, two, three, four, five, six. So um with uh what is that? Spinning wheel. Yeah, open yeah. spindle spinning wheel. Yeah. yeah. 
I give you whole box. <laughs> okay. okay. And then, meanwhile, I, I go with this, uh, you know, images. So this is the cleaning process. Yes. Oh, this is uh, what well, this is the tour workshop tour with the big group and co-op staff uh, taking care of us and showing how we do it. So this is the field that um, they occupy for kimono producing. It's, it's everyday kimono producing. That's their job. And um, see, this is a separated fiber side layer before cooking it raw, lots of juice. That's why they, it's, they are covered with the jacket, it's all brown. So yeah. much, so much liquid coming out. So this is how they split, step on the end, cut in half. <laughs> it's a fun job. <laughs> yeah, this is the fiber side. And then uh, they cut it, this time they categorize um, outside uh, coarser fiber, you know, they have specific name and after cooking, they understand which, uh, which is which, you know, category. Yeah. See, this this is all like wet, wet like rain, rain. Wait a minute. So this is the thing. Ten, nine. I would say ten. pH ten eleven. This is the boiling water at uh, my friend teacher's studio, and then start cooking. This is after, uh, after cook done, and she stored in the container and naturally wait and naturally cools down. So this is when it's, you know, uh, normal temperature and start separating this, you know, uh, junk, more ex extra fiber involved, but really pink. And you use bamboo, how to say, tongs. pinch? Tongs. Tongs, yeah, tongs. We, you make your own and then pinch both sides and the pink junk remains. That is for the paper. So the ba uh, banana basho paper is always like brown, you know, uh, color. This is my teacher. If she does really clean, shiny, Fiber, but uh, um, maybe somebody has. This is the failure. See, it happens. In the end, you can your pinch is not correctly, you know, even. Then you have this, um, how to say, a jam of fiber. So this whole strands ruined, you know, teachers look at you, oh, you know, <laughs> you wasted. <laughs> and whole day, this is me with the tour. You can see here is more pink and then you scrape, then, you know, white shiny uh, fiber shows up. See, this is the wasted part. This is the clean fiber. The banana fiber gets always, um, that gets darker with the age. Oh, uh -huh. 
Okay, it's and then <laughs> after that, it is monotone fiber make uh, spread making, splitting, join, splitting, join, whole day. It's a knot, the joining, a knot. No, yeah. Um. Okay. Some people said, uh, banana fiber is it's must to make with uh knot, but it's not true. It is how that region exercise. Sometimes banana fiber is has more, what is a springy, it have to say, comes back in yes. Africa. What do you, I don't know the English uh, expression. It, it's difficult to bend. It's memory. Come, memory. Yeah, comes back. So um, splicing is difficult. But if you are uh, skilled, maybe you can. <laughs> you know, the, each region, for example, uh, exercise all the time in splicing, splicing, join. Then they are used to join with splicing. Mm -hmm. So, you know, you, you can tell when you see the uh, antique piece, or oh, this is not, you know, this is this weird method, but maybe it's a key to say that peace comes, you know, from certain area. If you travel different area, treating with the same uh, thread, but join joining a different method, that happens. So now Okinawa, uh, Okinawa main island, people use uh, uh, knots mm -hmm. to join me. This is, oh, this is not the video. This is not, she is the one. I didn't have a face picture, but she is the one after World War II, Okinawa is devastated. It's just yeah. flat, no banana tree, nothing. Ooh. And, no record. People, some people hide their precious thing, but mostly all burned. And she is the one. She was in early thirties, I think, knocking neighbor's door. I said, "Why don't we re, how to say, recreate banana textile over here?" So she now she's um uh at that time she was. 97 or something, Whoa. still making thread. And I heard that she got 100, but after that, I don't know. <laughs> so she's a national treasure. And then at that time she was show, she showed us how to make a uh, thread. And here is a whole pile that she made and she's still making. And this is the, um, Play. This is how we make a uh, bobbin. Mm -hmm. oh, nice. Slow mo, but my this is my my teacher. Mara, do the knots show up? Yes. Do you see them? Yeah. In the weave. Yeah. You do. Uh, bumpy. Yes. Oh. <laughs> Somebody has weaves. Uh, yeah. That it is professionally woven and you feel it or you really see close in a uh, bright. Feel the little bumps. Yeah, that, of course, this is my my piece. <laughs> oh, this is all. Oh, it's lovely. So, and then uh, you have all stuff here, more experienced weaver, so. <laughs> but I think you can really see dots. Yeah. You can feel those. Ones. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So that's what happened next. And um, almost the same, same uh, timing with with uh, Raimi. Raimi is growing most of part of Japan. 
So I firstly uh, learned how to take fiber in Okinawa, but actually in North, not in Hokkaido, but Raimi, Raimi uh, uh, fabric making exercise like everywhere towards Okinawa. And, and very precious, very high ranking uh, refined textile uh, in tradition. Oh, that's the tool. Yes. Tom. That's the tool for scraping. Yeah. Am I going too fast? No. Okay. So this is Okinawa, and then Okinawa always uh, warm. They can harvest three times, uh, Raimi three times a year. Why else in Echigo Jofu, which is very high ranking uh, textile, fiber comes from Fukushima here. Mm -hmm. And they harvest only once because it's cold. Mm -hmm. And in so Okinawa, they let the plants grow this height. And in Fukushima, the same plants growing like you know higher than your height. Mm -hmm. uh, and then, can we go back? Is this a uh, fiber pre scraped? Like it hasn't been scraped yet? Yeah, it's scraped. This is junk. I see. Yeah, okay. this is paper making. Yeah, paper yeah. making. Yeah. 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 <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> <For art jokes. laughs> okay, so this is, uh, um, and um, Raimi, uh, thread, I mean, fiber taking is not really um, no, much. Not. Because no process, it's straight from stock. It's at, happening at that place. So we harvest, we cut the stem, take the old leaves down, and break the stock. So fiber layer remains, and you just put the finger, and it automatically removed from the stock, okay. And this, the shell well, used to be uh, um, Miyako Island's uh, traditional tool to clean the bark. This is my, my house backyard. I plant it and then it, now my folks are complaining because it spreads all over. <laughs> <laughs> It almost looks like a nettle. Yeah, I think that's yeah, the same kind of very close or same family. Yeah, yeah. 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 Um, Probably. Mm, for, for sure, cows and <laughs> yeah, I would say it's a really nutritious, you know, but Ari, is it a cultivated uh, variety as opposed to wild? Yeah. I mean, I, this is, this is from Okinawa uh -huh. and they said this is hybrid. Uh -huh. And, uh, but I think they, how to say, breed or yeah, you know, yeah. very easily so yeah I, you know i don't know the, the I'm, I'm not the botanist <laughs> okay so now this is how she is demonstrating how you separate the green bark from the stalk very easy you just you don't do any effort this is very easy this like this. Banana. This is the stalk yeah. remaining, yeah. and this is the fiber. I mean, not fiber, bark. And then... Yeah. What's the bark used for? Oh, bar bark. No, no, bark is textile. Oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. 
but uh, outside bark really thin it's um, we don't use anything so now she is using this dull knife and um placing how to say 90 degree for the bark mm -hmm. and pulling really strong with the pressure then bark separates from the uh, fiber layer automatically so you don't do anything and you can take fiber see this is a fiber this is the fiber i think you you probably touch so how do long a fiber do you get out of a plant? Do you have a Raimi? No. Not, not yet. No. Because I'm trying to get a feel for the different going over also. Okay. So this is Raimi. Yeah. So how long, how tall is the plant? So how long a fiber do you get out of one plant? Like, yeah, I'm stressed. Yeah, but in Fukushima, probably longer, and they scrape with special wooden cutting board type of thing, and then you know really tightly scrape and fine, very fine uh, thread. They are very pr pr uh, proud of that compared to Okinawa people, you know. Mm. <laughs> sensitive issue. <laughs> so these are thread. Uh, actually, I bought this. Th those came from China because you can't get it in Japan anymore. You know, this is the this is the difficulty. You go and, and you visit those producing areas. Can you buy a little bit of uh, thread? No way. No way, this is so precious. Mm -hmm. wow. You know, we are eager to get more, and then no, no, you just for your curiosity, oh, oh, no. <laughs> so they give you they give you this fiber. Actually, I I uh, took this fiber. Did you so steal fiber. it? Huh? Did you steal it? No. Nope. No, nope. <laughs> <laughs> because this is how it goes. And can I take this? Uh, stock and then the, you know I can can I try? Then it's uh -huh. very you know free. Oh, take it. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. But this thread form thread makers are uh, mm -mm, many you know really rare. So mm. thread form I cannot buy. We have to negotiate. I negotiated in Korea too. Please 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 you know. But, uh, <laughs> we would have meeting. Yeah. <laughs> so this is thread. Thread and is also known as China grass. Ah, yeah. 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 Okay. Yeah. And, uh, yeah. Yeah. So um, the Adrian's piece made with fishnet, the uh, Jackie's piece. Yeah. <laughs> you the weaving part of that is um. Uh, came from fishnet that is Chinese fishnet actually used with uh, fermented uh, persimmon juice. Uh -huh. So this is the thread with bark on. So bark gets really dark. Mm -hmm. can but pliable enough to use in textile, huh? Basket making, oh, or yeah, you know, yeah. artsy people yeah. make. <laughs> yeah. Nice. I, I saw some pieces, but uh, you know. Gotcha. Yeah, I like. Is that is that <laughs> bad word? No, no. 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 Right okay. on. I mean it. Well, well. <laughs> that's, that's sideways. I didn't mean it. And uh, this is quite old. Um, I think that's the oh, kingdom, kingdom era um, ikat motif. Yeah. The big, you know, now we go to small scale or oh, great, great, great. But before big double ikat are more, were more appreciated. Ah. 
it's it's richness. So uh, some uh, visibility. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So the banana uh, banana uh, garment with big square, mm -hmm. but some not just square, but some kind of thing. But you know, really statement uh, and pro how to say tells how rich you are. Yeah. Uh huh. So this Where, one. Is this mainland or Okinawa? This is Okinawa. I think that's Miyako Island. Uh -huh. Ishigaki Island makes white Raimi cross yeah. that you can see in the gallery. White background with brown double E cut. That's from Ishigaki Island. And Miyako uh, mainly makes um, indigo, dark, dark indigo, shiny. And, uh, so both banana and Raimi in Okinawa. Yeah, yeah. Um, used to make um, banana fabric used to make in Ishi Ishigaki Island too, but um, because because they don't have anything, mm -hmm. you know. So, but now there are no. Uh, I didn't meet any makers. Yeah, makers. Mm -hmm. So the Ishigaki is more like this. This is the old uh, textile that mm -hmm. I got from a uh, mm, known weaver. Okay. This is now Miyako. You have kimono displayed, but this is Miyako Islands now. Okay. Yeah. Miyako Island. Uh, fabric. Oh, she is a yarn maker. She she makes yarn every day. That's her job. Why? And then she showed she, she, she and so this is the flow. Oh, fine. Yeah. Single strand? Single uh, strand. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Is that the natural color? The green? Yeah, yeah. This is natural color. I think this uh, this is uh, growing from my my yard, and somehow I was keeping under the roof for a long time. It's got bleached. Oh. Mm -hmm. And Korea, I I saw Korea Korean do hanging bleaching. Oh. Yeah. But sometimes when you do, didn't process well. It get really dark, contrary. I don't have, you know, bad sample. <laughs> <laughs> See, this is, I think this is bad. I think this is rainy, bad sample. Yes. Ray, See, Raimi at this, Raimi I took, 2013 it gets really dark. So I don't know the science. That's why, you know, it's a farming. It's really farming. So they search which area, what is the fertilizer, what is the climb, you know. Yeah, you know. like wine. Huh? Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, exactly. No rain, lots of rain. Bad soil, good soil. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, so this is all that. This is the... A uh, precious yarn, I mean, thread uh, remaining. Um, and this is the final textile finishing is pounding, you know, pounding. Huge hammer, they pound it on the woven cloth. Yeah. So that it shines or uh -huh. even. And this is. We are experimenting uh, yeah. ocean bleaching. Okay. It's a cloudy day, so it didn't work. Yeah. But some of the brown brown uh, dye uh, from put some kind of potato at that this area, and with um, sea sea water gets darker. It's a chemical reaction. Yeah. Over here is all coral. So I think uh, they say the water has uh, is more uh, uh, alkaline, right? With the than, coral. Yeah, yes. yeah. 
than some other area in, in Japan. Okay, so this is the weaving uh, loom structure. They weave so much, so many double ikat. They have uh, additional uh, drum to supply um, oh, ikat thread. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. So oh, I was showing. Um, okay, that's that's quite technical, but this is yeah. this is rubbing dye technique. The white kimono in in a gallery has dyed with this technique. Ob I mean, mud or what? That they're rubbing it is, in. Um, it's a it's a root of we call ku, kuru is a name in Okinawa. Uh, we don't have it in the main island. So it's a potato, but uh, a reddish brown. Mm -hmm. And that's what they use for the resist in the ikat? No, mm, no, the, no, that's a um, brown color. color that, oh, brown yeah. color, okay. This is, okay, so that's a weaving thing. So I, I'm going to go really quick. Okay, double ikat. He's pounding. He's a pounder. <laughs> <laughs> See, to adjust double ikat, the end of the loom, the how to say, the warp is loose, and you adjust with the needle in the middle. Oh, get the, yeah, oh, you, it's not stretched. To get the result. Yes. Oh, yeah. Yes. It's, it's, they just wind up. And then let it go loose. Yeah. So, wow. so each shot yeah. has to meet yeah. perfectly. And this mm -hmm. is, yeah, this is the preparation for weft, I think. <laughs> and they make, they dye everything and then unweave. Unweave. This is, this is beside the fiber taking, but this is. Um, this is a broken, no, no, uh, it's unnecessary part to make double ikat if you're interested. Okay. Oh, long story. Okay. Oh, 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 my okay. So that was really strange. I wanted to see uh, snow bleaching. It's a, it's uh, in Niigata. The other side of the island, uh, around here. So in March they do that. I participate. I went Niigata to learn this. I mean to watch it. Some people brought their their own fabric, and unfortunately, it was gray. It should be sunny. Yeah, and I think couple days, you know, not only one day, you know, uh, maybe week, you have to spread, roll, spread, roll, mm -hmm. so that um, some stain, you know, reducing stains or make it whiter. Yeah. Or cleaning, maybe. Okay, so this is actually not, totally not from Okinawa. It's a cold place. Um, it, it, this is the very famous uh, Raimi fabric producing area. Where is that? Uh, Echigo. It's Niigata. Niigata. Uh -huh. Echigo, Ojiya, uh, those are the very famous, expensive, I think I saw, see, uh, six, 16,000? Sixteen thousand dollars? Yes, that's right. <laughs> For a kimono length? Kimono length. Yeah. Oh, oh, no. No. Okay. Well, that's where the prices are. Yeah. <laughs> so th this is this is an, an a tie that tie tying the uh double e cut you know preparation yeah. thread. It's tied. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So Mari, this yeah, one's from wo yeah. woven, unraveled, and woven that's right. again. No, that's that's to it's trash. Died already. Yeah. Ago. Okay. This is a waste. Otherwise, oh, I do, I couldn't get it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs>
Okay, so they have those notes, you know, from the uh, tradition and just matching these measurements. Oh boy. And then tie, move on, next length. Those little ties. Yeah. Oh. yeah, and then plus, plus, Remy thread has direction from head to end. Yes. So I, what I witness, okay. We you prepare this and then and that. Did you go back one slide? There. Thank yeah. you. Yeah. And you 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 prepare and then you rewind the drum. You have to un, you know unwind in different place so that it matches the direction of the thread. So it's like, wait a minute. Ooh. I lost myself, you know. <laughs> but those people knows. So now we have to flip. I said, why? Because the direction is not the correct. <laughs> oh, okay, okay, okay. You know, so it's cool. do, do do any artisans come in and flip the direction on purpose? Yeah, the those guys do every time. You know, yeah. Um, it's a family business. We visited um studio, uh -huh. and a middle-aged man explained how we do, and he, he, he does everything. Of course, wife does the yeah. important portion, and <laughs> they know they know everything. They yeah. know everything. No, 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 no. Wait a minute, what are you doing? And then, yeah. of course, because this is going this direction, and we have to go back and re rewind because we have to keep, you know, yeah. Weaving direction right. Uh -huh. Okay. So, I so. It, wow. it's really crazy. Yeah. <laughs> wow. And then, yeah, young people, she was in his studio, backstrap loom, because to get this license, you have to weave in a certain style of loom. Uh -huh. So, floor loom are not allowed. It's a jibata? Jibata. Yeah. Uh -huh. So that's their only tensioning. Yeah, yeah. You and then the tension. Yeah, and then you. they uh, commissioned all the whole thread wind perfectly and commissioned outside weaver who has that jibata, the backstrap loom. Yeah. And uh, with this form. And then instructions included. Hey. Weave it, and then you <laughs> weave it. You, it you at home and get get paid. Mm -hmm. That's the business. Yeah. See, the the music notes there. Yeah. <laughs> and this is the this is kind of imita imitating. He's oh, imitating no, no. how how to make fabric soft. It's actually stepping on. Oh. Uh -huh. like, this is Please. Korea, but the same. See the thread seller. Korea is, you know, everywhere bad shape, but Korea was also bad shape, you know, for yeah. this really same system, completely winding warp and then commissioned to somewhere else. <laughs> mm, different methods to warping, warp, warp. Yeah. And they, they starch, with I think so soy paste or soy juice or something like that. Uh huh. See mixing and applying with high needle brush with a uh, heater underneath. Oh, with what? Heater See, heating oh, with heater. some kind. I don't know. This dangerous. It can, it can burn whole thing. Yeah. Is that so? It dries quickly. Yeah. Yeah. Because it creates mold when you wind. Yeah. So it should be completely dry before winding warp. So they're sizing the warp with this soy. soy. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay. So this is the end. Okay. I hope I can make it until the end. <laughs> <laughs> oh, already lunch time. Can I? Keep going. Okay. If you have to leave, you just have to leave. <laughs> the rest of us. Okay, so stay. I'm moving on. <laughs> ah, tree. Tree fi uh, fiber. Oh, okay. boy. Ah.
Uh, Mari, are you done with the Ramey box? Yeah. Okay. So before I just leave everybody. <laughs> okay. Uh, I I okay, I pass. Okay, this time I pass on here. This and this different. Okay, from this this time going this. Okay. So all this I didn't really prepare. It comes, you know. I I have to tell you, it's like um I this time I requested, but happened with professional video maker, the crew, and local journalist. So that was really good. They are really showing stuff in the whole village people. This at, at that time, maybe six years ago, only 20 uh, family living in this area. And what's the area? Niigata, okay. border of Niigata, Yamagata. Niigata, Yamagata, around this area. And this tree fiber thing is on remaining Hokkaido, and cold Niigata, Yamagata, that's it. And not, not other place exercise this anymore. And so this is a small village, remote village from Niigata. Niigata itself is a big city, but you know, a mountain is high, so separated from the rest of the you know civilization type of thing. Yeah. And after after snow starts, very difficult to get out. <laughs> yeah. Too close to Nagano? Um, one more side, uh, ocean side from Nagano. Nagano oh, is in the middle, no, right. no uh, sea. Yeah. Yeah. So, but the setting is maybe like Nagano, mountainous, very steep. This is a village image. Um, this is uh, this is a, what I, where I uh, stayed um, closed school is now hot spring hotel. <laughs> <laughs> See water everywhere. And uh, now it's a this is the village image, and this is house image. And so this uh, okay the story the school is closed. Not many young people remaining, and the village said, "Okay, we have to close this village and you know move somewhere else." And then asking a business consultant, which is a lady, you know, and she came. Okay, we will make a community center here, build new structure, and promote what we do, and bring people over here. It was a really, you know, a brave thing. And then people pay little money and then, you know, like clouds funding, but there's no cloud funding because it's a long time ago. So whole people involved this uh, fabric uh, textile making now. Mari, mm -hmm. this linden sample, is that from the bar? Yes. It's an um, oh, inner bar. Yeah, in a bag. Okay, I will tell you now. This is the tree image. What's okay. the tree? Linden. Okay. Linden. Okay, this is the bark. It's not just thin. The tree has to be more than 10 years old. So it, it's like this. And you will see the image. So about that. And this is the bark. Of course, the you know it, you don't have fiber. The linden tree is a um, funny one. They harvest after, during, and after rainy season, which is June through uh, summer. After summer, quite difficult to remove bark from the core. So the season, you know, you have to respect the season, and. We went there. This is this is the image. He is the guy, 
and see the those the, the, she's the crew okay does it kill the trees yes um used to be okay i'll show he's taking bark okay it's appealing okay just just a moment um Hope you can see this one. Okay, full, full screen. There we go. Go, moving. Oh my God. Oh, yeah. So now he got already separated the bark. It's easy. I can do that. It's <laughs> slippery, you know. Yes. So he cuts the trunk. Uh, first, he doesn't cut the trunk. Oh. Okay. Heal. okay. He healed it. Feels. Yeah. He, healed he, it. he makes the cut around the bark uh, and then put the rod, metal, okay, metal rod. I hope I have another. And he slides it under the bark of the tree and then pulls it. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, well, so it's handling the tree. Yeah. Yeah. See? Oh, oh. there you go. Walk. <laughs> and then, and then, so wow. used to used to take bark, you know, until the root part, and then whole group dies. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. That that's why modern method is you limit yes. the bark cutting yes. mm -hmm. above root part, mm -hmm. then new it's shoots it's coming up. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. yeah. So this is the modern method, but um, young maker didn't like it because you have, you know, okay. definitive end, yeah. which is uh, not not natural. Yeah. Ah, I don't like, I like that, but we need trees to yeah. keep yeah. going. <laughs> so this is how, you know, you, you saw it, the take, and then after that, he cut down that tree. Uh -huh. And the tree itself, the wood itself doesn't really serve anything. No. Not not charming enough to make anything. Yeah, so firewood. Fi firewood. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Charcoal. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. For your wisteria part. I'm gonna need oh, okay. a little oh. branch. <laughs> Thank you. So wisteria is coming up. In any way, so so this is how you saw. Oh, he has to go. Okay, I'm sorry. Keep going. Okay. So you saw how he see this is the beginning. He he puts the uh, metal rod mm -hmm. and pull it with mm -hmm. the bark. No, 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 like yeah. this. So this is the cutting section. Uh huh. And this is the wood. Just to, so you know, white and flower. And the people, and then okay, you need to separate core of the uh, some some yeah that is the separate separated core, and then we use cambium layers uh, for fiber, mm -hmm. and you have images. Now it's a separating thing, okay. See, this is, it's, it's, it, it, you can do it with yeah. the hands. <laughs> happy, happy me. Happy, happy. <laughs> and then, um, uh, shoulder in back. So now everybody is over 75. And he was, he hurt his foot recently. Maybe he was in somewhere 90 some, you know. And then he come show up and said, let me do it, you know. <laughs> so no young people, absolutely no young people in the village mm -hmm. in daytime. Mm -hmm. Everything is done in, you know, old By people. Old people. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So now you mm -hmm. always mm -hmm. keep it in <laughs> what in moist, moist, you know, with moisture. Um, mm -hmm. And they're making coil and making a put uh putting wood ash top of the coil and 
placed in the uh, barrel, metal barrel, mm -hmm. so that they can cook in it. Um, I think one, one or two days of cooking. Cooking, yeah. I and so this is after cook, you know, um, cooking process done. It becomes like seaweed, mm -hmm. and the big difference between plants and uh, tree, it's long. It's four meter long. Yeah. Four so meters. you know, unwind, <laughs> spread out, mm -hmm. and then um, make sure it is good and brought to the river. If you don't have river, you can't do it because it's <laughs> too long. Mm -hmm. So she's checking, spreading now, mm. and then after uh, uh, cleaned, now brought, you know, bringing to the river, and with stick, you just uh, clean with this motion with the current uh, uh, of water, the uh, excess, some kind of uh, ash or some body, you know, tree body is going away. And what is you have in the box? Do you do you everybody has that? Yeah. So this is this is after washed. And the color difference is it happens during the uh, cooking process. Mm -hmm. If you cook, you know, stronger alkaline tend to come whiter. Mm -hmm. I mean, uh, yeah. lighter color, but uh, softer but less character and uh, weaker also. So depending on the need, they, I think, but they are still asking, Mari, what do you think? Why my, my five eyes is too brown? Is it, don't ask me, you are the one, you know, doing that. <laughs> but uh, they, they're not really scientific. They, they practice what, they learn, yeah. yeah. Uh, some some area are more scientific. Is there any use for the wastewater of uh, lignin and pecmin and the ash water after cooking it? Mm, I don't know, but, but uh, um, the water itself um, get uh, weaker, alkali neutralized after oh. cooking. Mm -hmm. So. Um, okay, pot, pot, uh, pottery uh, maker mm -hmm. likes to have the those uh, washed ash. Mm -hmm. Ah, ah. So, no? to make the glaze. To make glaze. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, this is what I heard. Oh. The, the fiber making people wants you know the straight ash, but once it's this. You know, strained with water and I get weaker. Then, po uh, pot. Uh, how to say? Uh, ceramics. Ceramic. Yeah, yeah. One yes. that one. Yeah. Okay, those are the. See, this is this is the mm -hmm. same state. Mm -hmm. And then, and it always happens with uh, later wisteria too. You need to neutralize with rice bran. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh -huh. This is kind of myth, but we use often rice bran everywhere mm -hmm. to soften things. Hemp, wisteria, everybody use the same thing. Isn't it, is it slightly acidic? I think so. Yeah, because to See, it's like the a ash. pickles yes. making. So put of you know powder everywhere. <laughs> And then this is the thread, and so they they and this is the village village day of harvesting barks and hot, really hot and steep, you know. And I was like hiding and like, <laughs> everybody is up there. What are you doing? <laughs> and I'm going. So whole day we work, you know, ladies, you know. And then after, you know, they, wow. they 
um, divide evenly. A whole village people has to agree, you know, and then choose which pie they want and then take the the harvest and then do whole the whole process each family. That's the that's their activity. See? What's the Japanese word for linden? Shina. 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 And oh. so um tree bark Shina. uh thing uh this is elm tree and Ainu. But I missed the tour, so I didn't see. And they cannot do free workshop. I think elm tree grows in a you know prefectural controlled area very often. So you cannot go freely go and then knock down one, you know. <laughs> so very difficult to experience. And this is also tree fiber, tree cambium lay layer fiber. So this is- Does it ever come from the branches? I have a, a weeping elm. Hmm. And you can. Little branches. Okay, Jackie, get with yeah, it. You know, <laughs> yeah, this is a, a <laughs> this is an an uh, hard hunting. Yeah, there you okay, go. okay. So next one <laughs> is. Can I still go? Yes. Uh. Okay. Wisteria. Wisteria. Okay. Wisteria, I really want it, and but I I have to clear the criteria. You have to show up the workshop uh, seven times. You know what they they uh, pointed certain weekend, and it happened in Kyoto, not in Kyoto city, the backside of Kyoto. So you know, about three hours from Kyoto Station. So I, I need six hours to get there <laughs> and stay overnight or two nights in Kyoto. And uh, they have, you know, class. They, they've been doing like 20 years maybe. And uh, so I, I committed, okay, I do that. Where is that? Kyoto, Kyoto, um, Tang, Tango, the oh, Chiriman area, yeah. but higher altitude, uh, Kamisea is the village, also dying village. Mm -hmm. The snow gets power, uh, top of the power pole, oh, kind wow. of. So winter time, everybody close completely the first story. Yeah. With the metal sheets. Yes. No room and then some up and down <laughs> oh, wow. yeah it's not happening every every year but it happens mm -hmm. like that oh so this is the image that we exercised um uh wisteria this is bob brought this <laughs> this is the, the real the plants wisteria. and then i I will pass to you the um, <laughs> dead ones. <laughs> <laughs> See, this is the core, and this is the bark with the fiber still on. Okay. New. Does mysterious grow wild? I thought it, I saw I thought I saw it in the mountains. Yeah, everywhere. Yeah. It's yeah. actually kind of invasive. Yeah. Yeah. Really. I don't you know people said, oh again, good. you know. <laughs> we go. Okay, we go in a group, you know, um uh, buying hunting. It goes up. Yeah. Really goes up and you know, try to uh, select more straight ones. You you have that live, I mean, fresh uh, vine, you can see some part twisting and fiber maker don't want that twist. Of course that grows like this, so there, there must be a twist, but you know, um, 
rapid twist is difficult to, to treat. So we, we try to take straighter possible. Mm -hmm. And this is now, you know, I had we to pull are... it off my roof. It got so. Huh? I had to pull it off of my roof. Oh, oh. so invasive. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So this is the uh, oh, ten wow. people wow. harvested. Um, I think a whole day, and covers it so that it doesn't dry overnight. And the next day, see, this is this is the. the uh, they say older than five years. So new ones don't really have fiber. Mm -hmm. Yes. And then, okay, in order to separate bark from the core, you pound it mm -hmm. with a big mallet. Pound it. And then uh, you have this outside then you have to scrape off the uh, very out, out, outside bark that is um annoying job <laughs> i didn't like it didn't yeah. like it she is experienced she breaks and they make opening outside and you know try to kind of cutting uh with the uh, sickle this one peels I peeled it off. Ah, I'm good. Gonna... Yeah, yeah. Okay. Then, then this yeah, is. Oh, oh. Came off in my... <laughs> See, this is the twisting area, and we don't like that. Every every whole day we work, and dry once. This is one day job. And then move on next time meeting. And then the same method. Uh, basically, wood ash, we cook uh, um, half day, one day, you know, depending on the what kind of material. And this is wood ash. This is the tool to turn the coil upside down, wet it, and then Sprinkle this wood ash cooking. Mm -hmm. See, that, that was a strong one. Mm -hmm. 14, you know, 13, 14 uh, degree of alkali. Yeah, this is the, this is it. And then you touch it, it's, it's um, soft enough, then take it, take it, rinse it. And then this is again the the tongue kind of thing. Yeah. Go to river, wash, <clears throat> same exercise. Tool making. This is after cleaning, and it's just gently um, moving your tongue with a, a, a water current, and then uh, you know waste goes away. <clears throat> See, it's one side cleaner, one side wow. smoke yeah. purple. And then rice bran, uh -huh. because we don't want the fiber gets weaker with alkaline, so neutralize. Mm. Six, al you know, alkaline degree. And then neutralize uh, and drying. After drying, thread making. And this um, linden and wisteria, we use splicing method. Mm -hmm. So twisting. And that's that's really hard. Yeah. And no, she's no. demonstrating no. how to make. Yeah, and this is you know, the workshop we make. We make warp and then weave one link, and maybe well, you have here. sample, yeah, mm -hmm. sample of uh, weave with starch on. So in the end, just nothing. Mm -hmm. It's just thread making. We have homework, and it's just splicing, 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 and yeah, starch on. That's a group weave. 
Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um. But uh, Remy too. Yeah. Thread making is done with splicing. It's a weaver's belt. No, 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 it's plastic. Twisting. As opposed, as oh, opposed to knotting. I, I like spinners do. Um, uh, and last is hemp. Integrate new fiber. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Hemp, this place has a uh, designated, um, uh, how to say, to grow hemp fiber. Uh, how to say to royal family, you know, the, the ceremony. So those are the regular farmers, but just receiving a little bit of money, they do. Uh, I don't know why it's, this is Gum, Gumba prefecture in the middle of no ocean, a little bit of ocean. Like, yeah. really hot, it's like sauna actually. Mm -hmm. Really hot, and but I see a lot of uh, interesting things. It's so more more like farming. They don't weave. Their their finished product is fiber, and the why it fiber looks good, then they're happy. You see, you see that. Uh, so finished, you can see even cleaner fiber like, okay. See, like this, probably I scrape, so it's not that good, but really wide and shiny and clean things in bundled. And then they, they bring to the, the agent, agency, what agency? The, the uh, distributor? Ro royal family yes. taking, you know, the agency that taking care of royal family ceremony, everything, and just give, you know, as an, how to say, I don't know, harvest, harvest for, oh, to, to weave garment, it has to be this one, not from anywhere else. So this one, it's really uh, um, locked, you know, for one use, which is not for a commercially something, but for donate to the mm. you know, wow. na nation uh, well, value, yeah, yeah. things. So they, they're really they do that. What about a day job? How do they how do they make a living? They they grow blueberries and they grow <laughs> cognac, cognac potato, you know, you know that cognac, which is a slimy, gooey <laughs> potato. Uh, so, oh, yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah, some, some onion. So, um, Guma is very uh, famous for green onion, or many, many other, you know, uh, um, ha uh, produce. But uh, these people have their own thing to grow, but this is besides. That's a side so it's an job. honor to be able to grow for the royal family. Yeah, yeah. And then they get really small money. And sometimes it's really, you know, not, they receive, I mean, as a product, they receive nothing. I heard that one TV station, which is a public station, but published image of harvesting and some people pointed out where it is, and people rushed there and uh, damaged the whole, whole plant, whole ear, ear thing. No, no. So uh, from that point, it's so secrecy, you know. You have to wave, you have to uh, apply, and then they, they screen, and then, you know, who comes with you, and then don't, no, I promise not to publish this. And so that was really hard. But for local people, it's more easy, you yeah. know? Anyway, so this is harvesting. <clears throat> oh, this is. Oh, it's in a cage. Mm -hmm. Yeah, cage because it's protecting from people visiting without permission. 
funny. So they I'm were sorry, just visiting, is... it was not a political thing against the royalty or anything? No, it's because after the war, GHQ forbidden Japan to grow hemp. But the hemp is the most important, you know, Shinto religion, or it's like yeah. related to our spirit, mm -hmm. you know? So losing war is that, it means that, you know, we don't, we can't have hemp. My mother said, oh, hemp is everywhere. Let's grow hemp. I said, mom, you want to go to jail? You know? <laughs> so I said, oh, okay. You know, it's, it's really hard. It's, it's straight... been used for medicine in Japan? Um, it is some documents said hysterical women. Oh, <laughs> it works. <laughs> yeah. But uh, hemp has really positive connotation. Hemp, you know, even mugwort grows straight with hemp, means that hemp growing upright is a really good, you know, attitude represent the whole nation. So grow like hemp, wow. you know? oh. And uh, some school, um, how to say, mark is hemp leaves. Oh, really? Yeah, oh. in Tochigi <laughs> prefecture. Mm -hmm. So this is, but this is Gumma, and uh, this is oh, photo shooting day. Only photo people visiting. Um, so okay, um, I, this is is this the end? Yes. Okay, hemp is hemp has di two different methods to take fiber: cooking or fermenting. And this one is fermenting. Thank you. And when fiber cooked, the fiber quality became grayer and shorter, weaker. Mm -hmm. So this one has to have really, you know, top quality of fiber. And so that this is, they separate uh, the size so that the quality changes, you know, thin, middle, uh, and fat stocks. <coughs> Bundle. Mm. First, they boil. Uh, so that it doesn't create any yes. mold on the surface. Mm -hmm. Okay, this, this is it. Is that just a dip or is it being cooked? Yeah, dipping. Dip. And so you saw the structure as a, like straw. And then when you're dipping, the hot water shoots, sometimes shoots. It's quite a uh, dangerous oh. job, oh. they said. Oh. And once one side and, and the other side dipped, and dry for, you know, depending on their time. They they have other jobs to do, and maybe sometimes uh, 10 days, sometimes two weeks. And when it dries, then, what is this one? I don't know. They need to dip second time. This is complicated because, okay, no, 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 no. Is this some days later? Some days later, yeah, yeah. Okay. Some days later, after drying, completely dry, I think they use um, chop, um, what is that? Kind of charcoal from wheat, wheat buds, uh, alkaline water, it's like lye water mm -hmm. dipping, and then, and then go to this room, sauna, and to for fermenting. And here, this bath, they create. I have. Oh, I have to give this. This is clean. This this is also so smelling, but I clean. This is junk, okay, wasted waste from the fiber, but has bacteria. They keep it as a culture, uh -huh. next it's year's just... culture. Yeah. Yeah. So they spread out this kind, but this is clean 
So more like, you know, dirty ones spread out on bath in, you know, spread the bacteria in the bath and plunge the um, stalk before go moving towards in the room, the special oh. sauna room. Oh. And so I have to be tired, but so this is the culture from previous uh, year. And also bedding has to have this bacteria. So everything goes to the bath, spread out. And now it's, this one is so bending because of typhoon, everything fold. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, it was, it's a carved thought. So oh. is that rotting it's off the stuff. outer fiber? Yeah. It's like in flax mm -hmm. where they yes. It's redding. Yes, yes redding. Yeah. Redding. Yes. Redding. Um they they check, but one or two days, I think. And he's checking. When it's ready, you can peel, remove from the stalk very easily, like this, and then hold stalk one by one they remove and they make it flat like this this one just with the hand yeah so it's going through and then lay you know like um eight shape so that it separates like this oh why oh yeah see because afterwards you scrape the oh. um, waste off. So this is the bundle. See, this is another, this is the last, uh, me, how to say, process that you lay the e each bark with the slimy uh, waste and then scrape with the dull uh, knife type of thing. Days and days. This is the, this really? is, God. yeah, this is the junk. And so this is the junk that we made um, a farmer's jacket. Oh, we uh -huh. clean, yeah, from here we clean, clean, clean and make fluffy cotton. Maybe you find it cotton, cotton kind of soft one in the box, but. Is that what the white vest yeah. Uh -huh. yeah the, the stock we use for buddhist and uh, shinto stuff so and this is when you're done with the scraping and he was this he was showing how to make nice bundle to bring to the um royal family this is the junk part and you know, everybody's eating, celebrating. <laughs> and here is weaving part. Um, Nara prefecture, um, Nara Zarashi in, I think as a producer, this is the maybe only one who is um, continuing the um, tradition and um, how to make yarn, how to make Wa uh, um, warp and stuff like that. Or oh, this is this is Miyasa. You oh. have Miyasa mm -hmm. yeah. exchange. Mm -hmm. yeah. I went Miyasa, and then there is a soba restaurant. And upstairs, upstairs, uh, upstairs is a small museum yeah. of hemp industry. Oh. Oh. Hemp but not this is all hemp. But not anymore. Not anymore. Not anymore. So Miyasa, not, the name itself, maybe you know, it's a beautiful, as uh, a beautiful hemp, beautiful bass oh. fiber. Miyasa is hemp fiber. Yeah. Oh. So uh, because we call bass fiber asa. Mm -hmm. Yes. Oh. Everything asa. asa. Yes. Yeah. So Miyasa can be, you know, any kind of uh, bass fiber, but beautiful. Mari, I remember years ago in a National Geographic, there was a picture of a 
an old lady chewing a piece of hemp fiber. Mm. She was an important cultural property, and it was something she did where she actually chewed the fiber to soften it. She didn't... Tell, tell me, yeah. uh, because you know, because we always use oh, one, yeah. two, three, you know, the, the tools as a tool. I use. Mm -hmm. So maybe, I don't know, maybe she has special saliva, how do you say saliva? Saliva, yeah. This is a uh, um, screen, this is the uh, Nara, Nara prefecture, Nara Zarashi people's thread. Tools and oat. And then this is again the cut, uh, catalog. All hemp, mm. all hemp, and then there is a category, you know, the size of thread, um, structure. And I think this, yeah, this is how pricing is. Pricing is mostly the same. Maybe slightly different between warp and weft, More of skin. Well, she must be using her oh, mouth. That. Uh, right under and yeah. Oh. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Probably licking her fingers. Uh, yeah. Yeah. That would be the glue. Yeah, so one <laughs> over, yeah, and the other one twist, is straight. Mm. Twist. Yeah, only for hemp growers. Okay, yeah. so I think this is the end. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>